All right, chapter two now, and basically what I'm going to work on a little bit is her hair, blending her hair uh, right into these trees. And, and I'm going to come in later. Uh, the beautiful thing about working with a color erase pencil on the uh, Bristol Strathmore Bristol paper, and I, I'm using a Strathmore Bristol paper. It's from a pad. It's not separate sheets sold, although you can buy uh, one ply, two ply, three ply uh big sheets 20 by 30 40 by 30 as well um, at the art supply store I find it convenient to work out of a pad the beautiful thing about this paper even though I gotta admit getting these blacks you really 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 gotta kill uh, your fingers and, and your hands that press down that hard to get those blacks uh, it, it erases up pretty good it, it erases up pretty good so Let's just do our best to blend. I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna lose an edge on on her into the background. And this is where your character becomes one with the background. You've got to have an area where the values kind of mesh. And I'm gonna mesh her arm right into that grass shadowy scene and a really really soft edge over there. Now I don't want to work too much on her on camera, but. I think it's important to establish the soft edge like immediately and uh, when you working on a character this small again less information is sometimes better and uh, you just want to soften this arm and uh, I'm gonna be a, I think I might be a tad looser with some stuff on this uh, drawing I don't think I'm gonna be ultra ultra tight on it I think I, I might go like a, a little bit more stylized so there's like little um, leafy things over here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna draw them with my uh, kneaded eraser. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting in like little dots, and you can see the way that I'm moving my pencil. Make sure that this is getting in focus here for you. Short little choppy strokes. Okay, combined with some long ones now. Uh, basically, I, I would pretty much get in this. Let me move this over. Good. Let me move it over a touch more. Very cool. So I'm going to get in this fence post and the fence. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm. Uh, I'm not working the whole drawing at once. I'm kind of doing section drawing the same way I would do a section painting. And I'm doing that really for practical reasons. Because I kind of want to zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I don't want to work the whole thing at once because then I wouldn't be able to zoom in. Secondly, I'm doing it for practical reasons. Uh, I don't want to smudge. I don't want to work on the right side of the drawing and then come back over and work the left side of the drawing then I'll smudge the whole right side of the drawing even if I do put a piece of copy paper like this I'm, I'm protecting the rest of the drawing by a thin piece of eight and a half by eleven copy paper even if I I do put that it'll still smudge a little bit and I don't want to do that so uh, I'm working really l from the top left corner down with the exception of her head so you gotta get in the fence first the fence posts before you can overlap the fence post with the grass. Now, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have parts of this tutorial where I do zoom out because I, I remember uh, in the previous section uh, one setup, I said I was gonna do rolling hills in the background. Well, I gotta kind of feel that out right now. This is the line from my trees. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that with the rolling hills and just plan it out a little bit more. So this pencil is already too dull. Let's get another one. And there's some wood down here embedded into the grass. Should have put that in first. So short little choppy strokes. Get this grass kind of coming up. Lots of soft edges overlapping uh, the trees. Just making sure it's in focus for you. Hopefully it is. I think when I move quick with my pencil it goes a little bit out of focus for you. So it just it's good to slow down with your pencil anyway. I mean just a little bit more control. So basically 
there's a lot of confusion going on. So now let me take a moment here to do this contour of this tree trunk. Make it a little bit more interesting. Couple of convexes. Okay, a couple of like little jut outs. Maybe there was a branch that fell off. Give it a little bit more character. So now that's just like a flat contour drawing. I'm going a little bit off the camera here. Uh, now do the convex wrap around. This gives your tree trunks volume. And I'm not copying 100%. I'm kind of putting my own spin on it. Copying a little bit. It's just I can go black first with some of this. And then I'll come over it with a light middle tone. And gradually just build up. So now we've got the left side of this tree in shadow. Now we don't want to kill the edge that we put on it. So we just want to be careful that we keep that edge, that intricate edge. It's going to go away a little bit, and I'm sure I'm going to have to rework it a couple of times. So I kind of like the way that this tree is looking. There's no white on this tree, so I've got to knock it down. So I'm bouncing around just a tad. The tree is dark, so if we go in sync with our value structure tutorial in Beginner's Basics, and also in the cast drawing DVD, um, I should not have any white like that is on her dress on the lights of the tree trunk. Now there could be some bark that was chiseled off for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they could have somebody could have rubbed against it with a machine, or you know, an animal could have scratched bark off of the tree if it was like in the wilderness. So you would see some light values, and uh, that's a whole different story. Now let me get a sharper pencil. I find that with this tutorial already, even the setup part of the tutorial, uh, time is flying. Like I, most of my uh, tutorials have been like six minutes and seven minutes, and then I know they're done. Like I, I kind of look at my computer. I'm like, all right, they're done. Uh, let's stop this chapter. But these are going long, and it's going long. Uh, that's telling me because I'm really having a good time doing this, and it's a lot of fun for me to do this landscape stuff. It's you get like immediate results whereas when you're drawing a figure like it's a little bit more stressful sometimes because a drawing a figure is really hard and you cannot fake any part of a figure you can like kind of get by with just throwing in some texture for a tree trunk and you know if you keep some pretty basic principles in in mind uh, the tree trunks gonna look pretty good so that's why this is kind of going a little bit long each video is going long so now what I can do is Didn't want to do that. I could go on a diagonal with my shading. Get a whole different range of texture in there. And now come up back in. Going through pencils very quickly here. And again, I don't have to copy what I see 100%. I can make some indents and some angular shapes for all different pieces of like bark. And I'm looking at the tree. The tree is really far away from me right now. But texture is the key. Okay, and I'm doing all different types of shading on this tree trunk. So let's get rid of the light in the shadow. There's no reflected light hidden the shadow side. On some of the tree trunks, there might be. But I don't want to put that in this just yet because I'm going to just... Um, turn this into that rolling mountain thing in, in the background and I can do a combination now that I'm thinking about it rolling hills and trees so wow we're at nine minutes okay so um, let's move on to the next chapter